what's going on everybody it's jeremy with balled up pythons here again we got my guy right here this is lancaster my lesser male if you don't mind hit the like button hit the subscribe button share the videos i'm trying to do a little more content than i normally do i hadn't been doing much uh just got my building set up everything going i want to talk about ball pythons look at this dude right here yeah there you go check yourself out I want to talk about handling your snake okay this guy this, like I said this is Lancaster he's a lesser male and you can see he's kind of he's tight around my fingers right now he's a little bit cold it's kind of cold in my shop I had the AC running because it's 100 degrees outside and I've been messing with this dude for quite some time just to be honest with you he uh he hadn't ate in two weeks so I think today I'm gonna to try to hit him with a mouse. If you can hear that, that's my mice. I just got my rack rebuilt. I actually did that today. But I wanna to talk to you guys about handling and taming your snake, okay? Cause I think it's important. I got some snakes that I'm not interested in handling, just to be honest with you. That's neglect on my part, to be honest. This guy, I, I love this color I love his patterns I love everything about him but at the end of the day I need to spend more time like with all of my snakes not just him but I put a lot of time in with him so he's he's gonna be my go-to like yesterday I took him to Walmart you know day before that we went to sheets we put some gas in the car I just wrap him around my wrist he holds on to my wrist and we just hang out you know just do everyday stuff together he, uh, he doesn't spaz out, hadn't spazzed out yet anyways. Um, kind of just hoping he gets to where he can actually eat. So I'll be honest with you, a lot of what I learned about handling my ball pythons, I learned from Chris Harwick on YouTube. He's probably one of my favorite go-tos as far as uh, information and knowledge. Uh, he's just very knowledgeable. And I really appreciate the stuff that he puts out because he puts it out there in like a pretty simple way, to be honest. Um, you got to get over your fear of snakes. I, I, I never thought I would actually own snakes, to be honest with you. I thought every snake was venomous, and I had this idea that people who own snakes are crazy, you know. But as you can see, this dude right here, he is, uh, he's not interested in biting me whatsoever. And I kind of took Chris's advice, and I try to handle him about an hour to Chris says two hours a day for about a week and they're good. I don't have that kind of time, right? So I try to take them out every day, handle them for at least one hour, shoot some videos, you know, go to Walmart, go to Sheets, go get hamburgers or whatever. And uh, it seems to have worked. Cause like you can tell this dude is just like, he's just hanging out, you know, he ain't got a care in the world. I would say he actually prefers being handled. He's not head shy. People say that snakes, especially ball th pythons are head shy. I think that's a learned behavior, but he likes, he likes to wrap his head around my finger, through my fingers, or like just put it up under, put this under his head. He's straight, you know? Because like I said, I was scared to death of snakes for a long time. And then I finally got one. And I was like real hesitant at first, you know, I thought every snake was going to kill me that I ever came in contact with. And uh, this particular breed is not even like that. I mean, yeah, you get some spicy noodles once in a while and they get upset and stuff. But for the most part, like most of my snakes are pretty chill. I mean, you don't want to stick your hand out there when they're hungry. I mean, just use common sense, you know. Look at the beautiful pattern on this dude. Look at those yellows, and the dark shades, and the fading, and you see what I'm saying? He just likes to just chill, man. So the first thing I would say do is do what Chris said. Pick your snake up. And just hold him like this. That's it. Just don't do nothing. Just hold him for about an hour a day. Two hours if you got it. The more the better. Like, oh, you shouldn't handle your snakes that. Look, it's your snake. 
handle it as much as you want to. Nobody is going to govern what you want to do because it's yours. But for me, like an hour is good. An hour is plenty. I just want my snakes to where if I pick them up, I know they're going to be cool. It ain't going to be like a huge issue. Like I could wave my hand in front of this dude. He ain't going to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? He is not interested whatsoever. But that's because I know, like, I know that I've spent the time necessary with him. This is a snake that I'm going to keep. I'm not going to sell this one. So if it's a snake that's mine that I'm going to keep, I want to make sure that I can handle him. One, I got a daughter, and I don't want my daughter grabbing one of my snakes and it just be like, ha, ah, you know? So I want my snakes to be chill. I want people to be able to hold them if I just snatch them out and say, hey, you want to hold a snake? I want to know that they are not going to in any way get snapped at unless they're just being an idiot which then they deserve it in my opinion but for the most part just get your snake hold him for an hour whatever you're doing if you're just sitting there watching tv and if he's spicy like if you got one of those hot ropes get you a little bag like i got a pillowcase i got some little silk bags drawstring bags put them in that hold them for an hour two hours just run your hand over them until they get kind of used to it until you get brave enough to where you just don't even want to use the bag anymore and you're ready to go into this all right if they're still somewhat snappy you're gonna have to just get them past that you're gonna have to snatch them up grab them let them grip you i mean really you don't hold a snake the snake holds you like this dude he is not letting go right now. Doesn't matter what I do. He is not going to let go of me. He is not really uh, in any way, shape, or form going to fall. Right? Because he's holding me. I'm not holding him. And I think that's the one of the bigger things that you got to realize. Like, You think, oh, they're super fragile. Yeah, they are super fragile. But unless you just fling this joker to the floor, bam, because you get scared. Not the snake, because you get scared. If you just, Unless you just fling him. To the ground, he is not gonna let go of you. It's not gonna work. He's there. He's not moving. He's hanging on for dear life, right? So put him in a bag. Work with him in a bag for a couple of days while you're watching TV. You know, whatever. I got a hoodie. Like I like wearing hoodies. So winter time, I put him in a bag. I put the bag in my hoodie. I'll take him to work. I'll take him to go shopping. Do whatever. Put my hands inside my pouch on my hoodie. And I'll just let them know, like, you're riding with me. I'm holding them. This is this is what it's going to be. Either you get used to it or you get gone, right? Nobody wants a mean snake. And I'm not saying they're mean because they've got a couple modes. they got food mode. they got chill mode, which is what this is, or handling mode. And then they got flight mode where they just, they just take off, right? None of my snakes are, like, super I'm not even, I don't even like using aggressive because if they're in any way shape or form aggressive it's because I neglected them um, they're not really aggressive as much as they are defensive you know so the defense is like when you see his head in that S shape just know there's a possibility that they're gonna tag you because they don't feel comfortable with you they don't they're not interested and they haven't been handled enough where this dude he will literally stay here until i put him back where he needs to go right so spend time with your animal if you're just breeding you know, if all you're interested in is breeding and making babies and making money that's one thing um i i i'm cool with that but I got animals, because I like, I like snakes, you know what I'm saying? This is like the most expensive jewelry you can buy, and it's probably the coolest jewelry you can buy. But I like, I like holding my snake. Why would I get an animal I don't have any interest in? Like, why would I get a dog if I don't want to throw the ball and play fetch with my dog, and like chill on the couch or whatever? So snakes for me is the same way. Like, I can't really do that with a rat. I'm not... They're a food source. They're not pets to me. This is not a food source. This is a, a, a pet. 
although it has the potential to make revenue. Um, this dude's just super chill, man. So spend time with your animals. Like, that's the main thing. And I could pull out. I got three more that I could pull out that are just this chill. One of them's in shed right now. My other female, she hadn't ate in like four months. And then I got another male I could do this with. But then I have three that I'm like, mm, I don't know. So what I'm going to have to do, because this guy's chill right now. He's good. Is I'm gonna have to sacrifice handling him every day and then start getting on uh, the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna get the worst one that I have and by worst I mean the one that doesn't like to be handled the most and I'm gonna start with him and I'm gonna put him in a bag and I'm gonna run with it I'm gonna do that for about a solid week in a bag he's gonna be with me everywhere for a week in a bag mess with him rub him pet him touch him whatever until he like learns to just chill and then after a week, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go right in this tub. I'm gonna pull the hide off, and I'm gonna just scoop him up. And I'm not gonna let him go. I'm just gonna hold on to him until he gets like this. He's not like, he's not constricting me. He's just kind of hanging out. You know, if they constrict you, and they just hold on to you, that's a sure sign that they're not really comfortable. But I've been doing this so long with him, it's like he doesn't really care what I do. You know, he's. I built that bond with him. I built a little bit of trust with him. So this is probably gonna be like my neck snake. The one that I'm willing to wrap around my neck. Cause I know he ain't gonna do nothing. So anyways, appreciate you guys watching the video. Thanks for stopping by. Like I said, if you would just hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a comment in the comment box. I respond to almost every single comment that I get. And until next time, see you guys later.